So a lot of you are still asking what my pre-med course is. And my answer is kind of different every time. So bakit nga naman two years lang yung pre-med ko or three years lang? In this video, I will answer that. If you're new here, my name is Aura. Hello, welcome back to my channel. And yesterday, I will talk to you about this course that I took which is BS Human Biology and then I shifted to BS Bio and I will tell you what it's like to be a student of those two courses and why I shifted and how my pre-med course helped me in med school. Okay, first of all, BS Human Biology. As far as I know, there's only one school that offers that and that's De La Salle University, Manila. That's just two years of pre-med in the LSU Manila and then you have to go to De La Salle Health Sciences Institute in Cavite for your med school. Your third year pre-med is already your first year med. So you can only graduate from college after you finish your first year med in De La Salle HSI. And then after that, you proceed with the second and third and fourth year med. Tapos yun na yun, doctor ka na. So that's just six years. And of course, the pros and cons. The biggest advantage, of course, is you get to finish med school in just six years versus eight years. And as you know, time is very important, diba? The reason why you can finish the course in two years is because in BS Biology, you take up botany for two semesters. So there's botany one and botany two. Versus in human biology, you just take up two semesters worth of botany in just one course called Fundamentals of Botany. So that's just one sem. So for everything else, so like zoology, botany, organic chemistry, we take it up in one semester only. So that's why it's shortened. But the coverage is the same, so we really have to study hard because we still cover all those topics in a shorter time. At least, if you know naman that you're going to med school, parang, oh, I don't want to study botany for so long if I'm not gonna use it. So that's kind of an advantage. You just get it over with, diba? Oh, And also another advantage is you never have to worry about what med school you're going into. For those two years, you're already sure to have a med school and you don't even have to worry about the NMAT, although we still took it, but just for formality. So that's one way of looking at it. That's the good part about it. But, and there's a but, I, I will have to admit that I really did not enjoy it at all because <laughs> you know the bad I wasn't sure if I wanted to become a doctor and I was in that course already wherein I will be forced to become a doctor so if you're not sure that you want to be a doctor and you end up in that course it will be like torture it will be like hell as in I remember going to school na pinapasa ko lang yung exams I didn't enjoy it at all another disadvantage is you have no choice you have to go to one specific med school only so you can't really explore your options anymore and personally and this is my most important reason imagine just two years of college versus four years and for some people that's good but for me i hated it because i really wanted to stay in college longer like what i always say college is a time for growth only my course was longer i would have run for a higher position in the student council so gets nyo parang na limit ako Ano pa? I could have taken other classes na interested lang ako lang for fun lang. Like I would have taken up some specific courses in communications, in the College of Computer Studies, ganun. Kasi ganun yung college para sa akin eh. Parang ba't ka nagmamadali, di ba? Pwede mo naman i-enjoy. Last chance mo na yun maging student, tapos sobrang free mo pa. So ba't mo mamadaliin? Yun lang naman. But all in all, imagine my classmates then. They are now first year residents. So they're now my seniors. And if you don't overthink it, if you just go with the flow, it's still overall good. It's really just how you look at it. So kayo na mag-decide if you want that kind of program. What else? So anyway, I shifted to BS Bio. Why? Because I was expecting... <laughs> I was expecting. I was expecting to get a scholarship in med school. However, I wasn't approved for the scholarship. And I figured if I'm gonna pay for med school anyway, might as well just stay here in Manila. So in BS Bio now, ito, ito na yon. In fairness, at least when I shifted to BS Bio, that's when I realized na this is the course that I will enjoy. I learned that I really appreciate plants. I really appreciate animals. That's when I learned to love the environment and I got curious about stuff about the ecosystem. Ganun. Parang, if I know naman that I'm gonna be a doctor eventually, I might as well just hone or like pursue my other interests before med school, diba? So back then in college, we went on different dive trips. And even when we go hiking, when we go camping, I'm always so curious about the nature stuff na Yun nga, na-appreciate ko lang siya nung nag-bio ako. Ah, also in college, parang I did this project for a community about rainwater collectors. And then because of that, I was, I almost went to Germany. Mga ganon. Nasa yun yung mga trip ko nung bata ako. By the way, 
if you ask the other med students now, like if their pre-med was bio, they will say na, no, if I had another choice, I would have studied something else, probably med tech or like nursing or something that I can use in med school. But ako lang yata, I'm like the only one who disagrees because I still maintain <laughs> that in college you just study whatever you want to study. Take it from me because I had to study something that was easier though, that was more sure, but I did not enjoy it at all. And when I shifted to something that I eventually enjoyed, that's when I became really happy. And in med school, di mo naman yun ire regret. Palagi nila sinasabi na, no, you'll have an edge. Pero sa totoo lang, hello, mas mataas pa rin yung grades ko dun sa iba namin ka klasing yun yung pre-med. Yakang yabang. Ayoko magyabang, pero guess, it's still in the student. Okay, so that's what you'll put in mind. So, whatever it is, don't worry. If you take up nursing, I'm not saying that you won't enjoy nursing or med tech or other courses. Just get to know the course first. That's the end of it all. Just make sure that if you're there already, make the most out of it and learn to love it because you'll eventually learn to love it. It's all in the mindset. It's all in how you look at things. It's all in the perspective. If you tell yourself that you hate what you're doing and you become so negative about it, that will reflect on your actions and that will reflect on your grades. But if you tell yourself, no, this is exciting, I like this, I'm gonna use this in the future, then may enjoy mo siya and you won't regret anything. So would I recommend bio as pre-med? Hmm. <laughs> Yung ending hindi pa din. Joke lang. Okay, I will admit na nothing I learned in bio, I mean, most of the things I learned there were not useful for med school. Why did I have to memorize all those invertebrates and all those corals and insects? I did not need those for med school. So yeah, that's kind of a waste if that's how you look at it. But like what I said, imagine having to study all those information. I learned how to study, I learned how to memorize, I learned how to be organized with my notes. So that's what I was able to use in med school. But if you want the exposure, the clinical stuff, the community, the research work, then go take up another course. And I can't really speak for other people because I wasn't able to experience what they experienced. So what I'm gonna do next is I will try my best to interview other students who took up different pre-meds so they will share with you their experience and you'll learn from them. And hopefully, you'll be able to decide on your own what you really want to take up for pre-meds. So that's it for now. I hope you like this video. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe and like and share. And whatever you want to ask, just ask it in the comments below and I will try my best to answer. Okay? Bye! Kawai kawai lahat ng bio dyan. Yes! <laughs> Hi naman girl. Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hi buddy! Hi! <laughs> I am not awkward. Oh my god! I am I'm not sure. 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 I'm not Diba? It's a whole new world. Yes. And sila nga, parang na-appreciate nila kasi first time nila makita. Eh, ako before, nakikita ko lang in my textbooks or in my exams or in pictures and slides. But when you see it in actual, oh my gosh, it's alive. And I and I kept on recalling uh, the names of the scientific names. Pero nakalimutan ko na. <laughs> but just the same, at least, I know that they are animals, that they are not rocks, that... Ang dami talaga, yung biodiversity is exage here in the Philippines. It's right in our backyard. So, if you wanna go diving, do it now. Or even if you've never thought about it before, diba? Consider it. Make it a part of your bucket list. Make it a part of your weekend trips. Okay? It's super fun. Super ganto siya pag nasa babahan. Paano ba yan? <laughs> Ayan. <laughs> Gusto ko yung bigla na may segue. <laughs> Dun da 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 dun. Ay, paano ba? Ay, oh ha. We got the result. Hi. Baka baka si Fulanka. Oo nga eh, nagkamali ako eh. Nakaka nga ako and Jesse did an actual vlog of our dive trip. So check out their channels below. And I, I, will, and I will post their links. Bye.